All right. Hello. If I'm already live, I'm testing something new. So bear with me, please, y'all. Testing, testing. And then we'll get right into it. Um, you know what? Forget it. We'll just go with it. We'll go with it and I'll share it later. So hello, hello, and yeah, hello. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, that's boss. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little notification so that you can catch me when I'm live because Facebook sucks at notifying you when people go live. Um, if you're on my Facebook page, awesome. Hello, how are you? Um, I wanted to jump in today and talk about something that I keep seeing that's kind of making me a little bit crazy. Um, but I know that this is something that we need to talk about. And I got some, I got, we're going to talk. Anyway, <laughs> so I keep seeing in some of the Facebook groups I'm in, which are primarily horse groups because, well, that's what I do, um, that people are looking for calming supplements for their horses. And first and foremost, right out the gate, let me just say, there's a time and a place for everything. <laughs> so no judgment. Um, I think that they're appropriate. I've used them in the past, whatever. I've just, I've learned a lot more <coughs> as we do, right? As we get older. And um, I'm finding that this calming supplement, the idea of the calming supplement is not all it's cracked up to be, okay? So I keep seeing that they're looking for a calming supplement and then I see the rest of the story, which usually involves something along the lines of um, my horse had an accident or I got this horse less than a year ago or a year ago-ish from a kill pen or um, my horse's longtime pasture buddies passed away. And I don't know why they're acting this way now, but they're anxious and they're too hard to manage. And I just need to put them on a calming supplement. <sighs> I get it. I get it. Um, coming from someone who grew up with the idea that I tell you what to do because you're my horse <laughs> and um, Domino, leave it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and also because I'm the boss and I'm in control and, and you need a leader and I'm your leader and I'm going to do this. <laughs> My idea of leadership has changed as well, but we'll leave that for another day. Um, I understand that there's this, un this belief that when we set out to do something with our horses, it needs to get done. We need to work towards this goal. We're going to train it into them. Like all of this get it done, get it done, it has to happen now. We have this timeline and expectation. And all I'm saying is maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't. And that's really hard for me coming from the background that I come from. This is a big change for me. And I and I work with so many people that have racehorses. You don't have, you're on a schedule that is set not by your horse, not even by you, but by your industry, right? So like I understand that there's this rush to get things done. But what if, just what if, we looked at it and said, my horse just lost their pasture buddy. They're grieving. What can I do to show up for them today? Whether that's just going out and spending time with them, whether that's giving them the opportunity to enjoy some relief, some emotional release um, through multiple modalities, essential oils, emotion code, Reiki, whatever, you guys, whatever you would do, what would you do if you just lost some friends? Would you be, you know, anxious, distraught, acting out, angry? You know, like I, I get that's just where I'm at right now. Um, I just feel like we're always in this hurry. We're in a hurry to accomplish our goals. And coming from me, like if you knew me in high school, <laughs> you're like, girl, <laughs> that was you. Yes, I know. I know. And that's what I'm saying. As I've grown a lot, I've been through a lot more. And it just seems to me that when horses are developing a new behavior or when horses are 
anxious and you just can't make it go away, or they do go through something and you notice a change in them. Why are we saying, I'm just going to put them on a supplement? I'm just going to, and, and because here's the thing, supplement, prescription drug, whatever, the whole idea behind using them is to dull the immediate response, right? Like we're shutting down a system. We're shutting down a response from the body. That's what the medication is for. That's what a supplement does. It doesn't matter if it's natural or if it's man-made. That's the idea behind it. We want to take the edge off. And while I know that there is a time and a place for that, it just stands to reason that sometimes, especially with um, our horses going through things, we need to just step back and hold space for them and love them where they're at and allow them to adjust. Allow them to adjust. That's where I'm at. <laughs> and I do, again, I do completely understand there's a time and a place. You know, if things are unsafe, you've got to do what you've got to do to make it a safe situation. Um, so no bashing at all. And I know that some horses truly do need supplements. Um, but that is where muscle testing comes in. So for me, I'm not going to just decide that this horse needs a supplement and go put them on the supplement because they're not acting the way they normally do or they've developed anxiousness and I don't want to deal with it. I'm going to muscle test. And I'm going to find out, first of all, I'm going to do a lot more than just simple muscle testing because that's what I'm trained in. However, I'm also going to use muscle testing to, to determine, is that supplement an answer? Is that something that I need to put my money into because if it's not going to be beneficial to the horse, which we can find out through muscle testing, then why? Um, why even, this is weird, sorry, pop up. Um, if we can, you know, why spend the money on it if it's not going to work and muscle testing lets us know. So um, if you're intrigued about muscle testing, you need to jump into my group, Horse um, Heart Centered and Intentional Horsewoman. I know the name of it, I swear. Anyways, uh, I talk about muscle testing in there, give a few examples. Uh, and I also have, I'll put a link above to a fabulous little resource I made about muscle testing for equine nutrition. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. But that was, that's just something that I've been seeing a lot of. And it just kind of breaks my heart that we um, don't pay attention to our horse's heart enough. So that's my little rant for the evening. Thanks for listening. Y'all have a fabulous night.